what's going on YouTube Greenwood Evil here today probably the biggest video I've done so far on Godzilla um, this is a very special video I haven't seen really any of these reviewed on YouTube let alone all three at once today we're gonna be reviewing Tim Blur Vogs, uh, vlogs um, hit me up on uh, one of my comments on one of the other videos saying about how he wanted to see a Megalon or a Jet Jaguar review I, I don't have a imported Megalon or J a Jet Jaguar yet, um, but I do have this really sweet Megalon from Trendmasters, which technically you can call these three the trifecta. These guys were the hardest to find from the Godzilla Wars series way back 20 years ago when these were out because um, the line, I think, like the line was discontinued right as these were made or something, so only a very few actually got out into the wild. Um, I'm lucky enough. I found them on eBay a while ago um, in, a, in a lot deal. I don't know what I spent on it. I don't remember. But all I know is I, I, I got a good deal on it. I got an insane deal. But before we get into this, um, just a reminder, I'm doing a giveaway for the Godzilla Battle Spirit cards. If you haven't already, um, watch the video, top right corner here. Watch the whole video. Do what it says to enter the win. Uh, I'll randomly pick a, a winner on May 11th, which will be called Godzilla Day. That's going to be awesome, so watch that video, top right corner. Um, but that is in the future, and today we're doing this really sweet, rare review. So, let's get into this right now. Let's go with, um, let's talk about all three for a second. So, like I said, these are from the Godzilla um, Godzilla Wars line of Trendmasters, way back 20 years ago. You have Megalon, Varen, and Baragon. Um, I've only ever seen one or two reviews of him, uh, one or two reviews of him, and I haven't seen a review of him on YouTube, so maybe I'm the first, which would be really neat if that's true, uh, and it'd be an honor because this is a really sweet figure. So, if you guys don't know what the Trend Masters Godzilla line was, the Trend Masters Godzilla line was um, a reimagining of all the different Godzilla figures because it was during the uh, mid-90s where uh, Trend Masters made Godzilla toys in America. Um, they made, like, and they, and all the Godzilla figures, like, the, uh, there's a couple of them, like, Mogera and Gigan and King Ghidorah, they all looked a little bit different. They did, they had, they weren't the regular look. So if you can see, like, this Megalon obviously does not look like the regular Megalon. Look at how cool he looks, though. He, um, we're gonna get into him first, actually, so I'm gonna move these other two to the side. Another lucky thing about these three figures that I have um, are the sound. The sound uh, they they were they were sound figures, so they would make sounds when um, you pushed a red button. Um, I don't know if if like you watch. Listen, listen to Megalon. Now I don't. You have to push it. It's 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 very quick. Now I don't know if that is the full sound. I don't know if if maybe the sound box was damaged because it's you know been so it's been you know like twenty years or whatever. But he does make sound, which is cool. They made another figure of this one in the Doom Island series, but that series almost never hit shelves. That was when the line was completely canceled. But like you know, he has pretty much the same look. He's got the he's got the you know his his horn on top. He has the bug eyes. He's got the the weird looking jaw look. Look, he has his um. Well, they're not like you know how like they were like kind of like drills. Well, this is not really drills. Um, they're like more like sights, more like um. Uh, Gigan, I guess. I'm not sure what they were going with that one, but you know he has some. He has really cool detail, a lot of cool color. I mean, like a lot of detail. Like they did a really good job with this one. Um, I think they would have retailed for like 15 bucks or 12 bucks. I don't know how much they were back then. I don't even remember how much I spent on uh, all three of these in the lot. But um, then his back here, you know, he's got his wings and such. I'm gonna fix the wing a little bit. It goes like that. There you go. Um, you can have the wings poking out. I will not because I have to glue mine. If you see all the way in there, because this this wing was loose, unfortunately, when I got it. So I mean, you know, it was something so old, and I got these like ten years ago. So for something so old, you know, you're lucky. I'm lucky that most of this guy was intact and still makes his sound. Um, you can you can turn his tail. Obviously, that's where the battery pack goes. I just put new batteries in these suckers today, so you know they'd be ready for this cool video. Um, they're you know they, you don't have a lot of length to them. They try to keep the figure small, so they have a lot of wrapped tails. You'll see everybody in this in this review has wrapped tails. Um, he looks cool. I think um, Baragon of the three looks more like the original Baragon. 
the other uh, Megalon does too in a way. This is like I said the lighter version. There is a gr uh, like a more all green color Megalon that they that they repainted for the Doom Island series. I don't have that. I've ne I you know I've never seen that live. I never seen it on eBay or anything or whatever. But I did see this. These are these this is really cool. I mean, I'm so glad I have these. I have other Trend Masters too, but these are the these are the three rarest ones. So there's our Megalon. So we got our Megalon there. So we're going to set him in the back for now. We'll keep him there so you keep looking at him. Let's do Baragon next. So here's Baragon. Um obviously standing on two feet on two on two legs, you know, not 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 the not the usual thing you see for Baragon. He's usually on all fours. So a little little interesting here. He's got a, he's making a fist. He's ready to punch something in the face, which is cool. And he makes sound too. Um his button doesn't work all the time, but it, there he goes. So pretty cool. Um, he looks like he looks like Baragon. Like if you if you look at that face, he actually it's funny. Um, he it's Baragon, but he kind of looks like King Caesar. You can see that if you know who King Caesar is. Um, he looks like King Caesar. It's really funny. Um, but you know he's got his he's got some odd detail on him. He's got some bumps and stuff. That's just actually from the that's the figure itself. That's not like damage or anything. Um, like I said, I got these, um, uh, I got all three of these on a lot, uh, eBay, and they were all out of the box and such, and they had a little bit of damage on them, so I'm assuming whoever had them back in the day played with them, which is fine. There's his battery pack. Um, his tail, of course, is curved, as all, like I said, these all, all are, they're all curved because they, they were trying to keep this, this, uh, this set, uh, small. You had your, your basic Trend Masters figures, which were about this big. A little, uh, they were close to the same size, but these guys were a little bit larger because they had the sound. Um, but that's pretty much it on him. He's cool. He's got, you know, he's got his three, his three, three fingers here. Um, he looks good. Let that zoom in. He's, you know, he's a little dusty. It's tough to clean some of these guys off with dust. Which I tried this this uh, yesterday, but you know, dust still remains on them. Um, but these these are these are really cool figures though. These are really awesome to have in a collection. I'm so lucky that I found these, um, and it was funny because when I bought them on eBay, I was like, okay, I know that these are rare, I've never even seen or heard of this before, I freaked out, I think, um, the, the one I, re I recognized when I was scrolling through eBay those years ago, I think it was, um, Megalon, I'm like, what is that? That's weird. Why does this Megalon look like that? And then I read the description. I'm like, Trend Masters? Go! No way! And then I had to buy them. Uh, I don't remember how much I spent. It wasn't a lot, though. I really... I got these for such a steal. Um, I don't recall how much I spent for them, but it was such a good deal. Uh, the date on them says... Uh, 19... What's that? Let's that zoom in here for a second. Uh, come on, zoom in. There you go. I think this is 1996. So these were made 21 years ago, or 20, depending upon when they were copyrighted versus when the figure actually came out. You know how that goes. Um, oh, real quick, by the way, you see all my buildings back there. I got some buildings um, from a, a board game called Moss Apocalypse. I have those things. Those are really neat. That was a very fun game made about uh, in 2009, 2010, I think, maybe 2008. It was a really cool, really cool game. It was a big board game you'd set up and you'd play giant monsters, attack each other. It was great. Buildings would collapse and stuff would happen. It was very fun. But I decided to set them up because that looks pretty neat. Got our little skyline, our Godzilla skyline there. Um, but this was pretty much Baragon, so he's cool. He's got green eyes too, as you can see. He's pretty neat. Come on, zoom in there. There you go. Look at that. He looks great. They look great. They're awesome. And they're not gigantic, so they're easy to display. And you can display them all together, which is the way that I do it. Now, here's Varen. Varen's really cool looking. I mean, I don't have a Varen figure. Let's be, to be honest, I don't have a, a Toho vinyl of any of these three. These are the three that I have of these figures. I only have the Trendmaster versions. But this Varen looks just awesome. He's got his his you know his attachments here for his his sails when he would float or glide or whatever his gliders. Um, his giant gigantic gigantic hands. I'm talking like huge hands. Uh, he's awesome. He makes sounds too. He sounds the best out of the three. <laughs> Like again, I'm I'm just lucky that these guys made sound. It was funny. I changed the batteries on them uh, today. I went out and bought batteries, um, and I had no idea that they were going to work. I knew that the Megalon made sounds way back when, but I never changed the batteries on him. Um, 
and of course I did today and he worked and Baragon worked his buttons a little off and this but this one works the best this Varen works the best and you see he's got his uh, he's got his spikes going down his back and whatnot um, off the top of my head I believe Varen has spikes on him obviously I don't think they're as um, poignant in the, the Toho version this version here of course you see spikes literally everywhere I'm gonna hit that button every so often by accident um, but they're just so really, really awesome figures. Um, definitely worth it to find for the collection. Now, the problem is finding them and depending upon price-wise. Now, I got lucky. These guys are actually in, these guys are actually in good condition. Um, they're not, they're not in, they're, you know, you have some wear and tear on some of the, on some of the hands. You can see I still have dust on them. I just can't, sometimes you just can't get all the dust off. You have to, you have to really try. And I didn't really have any, uh, I've been so busy this week that I really haven't had, uh, time to really go over these guys. Sometimes I go over them with like a Q-tip just to clear off the like you know the fingers and stuff like that. But I mean it's not that bad. You can you can tell I, I got most of it off. Um, there is feet and of course his tail. Like I said, as always, um, all in this line a lot of the tails are curved. Um, you could you could find um, there's the rubber series of trend masters that had like rubber tails you can bend around. But these were not part of that. These were only literally made. Um, in the sound line, there's uh, and right here's where you put the battery and you take this part of his tail off. Uh, he's got nice purple, to, uh, nice purple color to him. I think he looks the the least like his Toho counterpart, or you know, this is all Toho regardless. This is just t Trend Masters getting the copyrights, but um, he looks the least like uh, the regular Varen. The other two over here, you can tell, look more like look more like their regular selves even though he's kind of standing and he definitely doesn't have these kind of sights for hands um but i just wanted to show you guys these i think they're really 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 awesome um let's look at each one again real quick here's megalon once again um i'm so happy i have these they're so awesome and they're and you know what you know what else is cool about it it's it's cool to see that you know another another line of Godzilla figures not just stuff from Japan stuff that you can find in America which you you could find all these in America uh, KB Toys was the spot back in the day uh, but I got a lot of my Godzilla Wars figures from Toys R Us um, I got when KB Toys was going out of business all those years ago I did find some Godzilla Wars stuff and, and bought it should have kept it in the box but I opened them and displayed them so that's uh, that's kind of my fault but whatever it's okay uh, I, I don't mind opening the Godzilla stuff. Like I said, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so there will be Star Wars reviews on this channel at some point, and that stuff I do not open. I do not open Star Wars. All that stuff is treated with, treated uh, utmost with don't ever open Star Wars stuff because it, it gets worth a lot of money. I actually have a lot of rare Star Wars stuff, but that's, for, that's another video for another time. Um, but here's, here's another look at Megalon real quick. He looks dope. Leave comments below. Let me know which one's your favorite. I'm just curious. I think my favorite of the three is probably Megalon. He looks really awesome. Uh, he has the most pop color-wise, even though Varen has some nice uh, purple to him. Here's Baragon again. He looks good. You know what? We're gonna get. Let's bring back Megalon real fast and give, make him do his sound again. Now I haven't watched Godzilla vs. Megalon in a while, so I forgot what he sounds like. But I don't think that's how he sounds. Uh. There you go. Now, like I said, these wings are able to go up a out a little bit more. Like, see this one, how this can go out some for flying or whatever. This one can't. It was broken, so I had to glue it to make sure it was it would stay together. See the glue there? I used some Gorilla Glue. Go gorilla Glue, awesome. Just be careful with Gorilla Glue because it expands. So I knew I needed it to expand. That's why I have it looking like that because this piece just did not want to stay in. Um, I knew what I was getting into with that. It's no big deal. I'd rather have this piece glued, have this piece, and have him look complete this way than not have the piece and, you know, make him look ridiculous. I would not want to have a Megalon doesn't have one of his wings. And then uh, here, of course, is... Uh, let's go back to Baragon. There's his sounds again. He looks great. He looks like, like I said, King Caesar for some reason. Maybe they were going to ever... Maybe they were going to make one. Because King Caesar had these giant ears, too. And then he had, um, he had the, he did the eye thing where he would absorb energy and fire out the other eye. That was really cool. But this is Baragon has no superpowers whatsoever. Just Baragon, sort of like Anguirus. Just, just cool. He's just cool. You know, he's making his fist. He's like, G.I. Joe. I'm kidding. That's my really bad Starscream impression. 
<laughs> well, Starscream and Cobra Commander, obviously. And then here's Varen one more time. He looks great. He, we, he looks very different. He looks a lot more menacing. This would be a good design. This would be a good design for, like, the new go legendary Godzilla. This would be something cool. I'd love to see him running around in a city, knocking over buildings. This would be a good interpretation of Aaron. Not so much the color. I like the color for the figure. I like the purple and, the and like, the, like the, the, you know, uh, the maroon-esque color. He actually has veins, too. They actually gave him, he has, like, veins and such. That's pretty weird. Look at that. He, sometimes you spot things as you're moving them around. His He has some articulation. His hand can wave, and then this one can go up and down. And then his legs can move, and his tail can move. Even though you don't, you don't really want to move the tail, because look, when you move the tail, I mean, it doesn't even, it doesn't, it's not even anymore with this, with his uh, spikes. And that's just the OCD in me. Just I can't do that. Um, Megalon has no articulation. His arm goes up, and this arm goes up, and this arm goes down, and this arm goes down, and his legs move. That's all he does. And his tail can move too. But like I said, no point, because you want to have them even with. Um, with the spikes and such, and then him, his arms go up and down, and then his legs and uh, tail also move. That is pretty much it, guys. I wanted to give you this really sweet and rare review for these three figures. Uh, call them the trifecta of the Trendmasters line. These were the hardest ones to find. Um, hell, even I found out about them super late after the series was more than done. Of course, guys, if you like the video, like it, subscribe down below, let me know in the comments who you want to see. If you want to see any other kind of Godzilla characters, let me know. I know Grand King Ghidorah, I'm going to get to it. It's beautiful, it's such a gigantic, awesome piece. I will definitely review it at some point. Um, leave a comment, leave, leave some comments, let me know which one's your favorite of these three. I want to know. My favorite's Megalon because he, he just looks awesome, but I mean, Varen and Baragon are also dope. It's tough to pick. These are all super rare. If you ever find one somewhere online or whatever, uh, if the price sounds right, definitely do it. My guess, if I was a guessing man, how much I can sell them for, um, probably out of box in condition they are. Megalon might not go for as much because of the damage to his wing, but I could probably still sell him for probably about 40, 50 bucks. And probably Baragon can go for 40, 50 bucks and maybe 40, 50 for Va Varen. Now, I also could be underselling it. I literally have no idea how much they're worth because I can't find them anywhere. I was just on eBay trying to find them. I cannot find them. Um, I found um, one Varen that was sold already when I searched it on Google for 200, but he was in box. This guy's in good condition, out of box. I'm sure he's worth more than 50 bucks. Gotta be. But um, like I said, guys, if you liked the video, like it, subscribe down below in the left-hand corner. Don't forget, top right corner, my giveaway for the Godzilla Battle Spirits cards. Get on that if you haven't yet. Comment on that video. Uh, subscribe to me and um, like that other video too. Um, I got some other stuff coming up. Uh, I'll do some more Godzilla, obviously, in the future. Put some other Godzilla videos over here on the screen. And until the next time, guys, take it easy. Peace.